Switching gears to baseball, it's time for our Frickers Budweiser Spring Training Report. Sports Director Jack Pohl is covering the Reds out west, and he joins us live from Goodyear, Arizona. Thanks a lot, Hutch. You know, to watch these Dayton Dragons play out here this afternoon made me wonder how many of them will reach the big league someday. And it might be more than just a few. After all, the Dayton Dragons have supplied the Cincinnati Reds with a few of their pitchers, an outfielder, and their third and first baseman. Now, the Dayton Dragons have helped the Reds fill another spot in the infield. It took a little while, but it seems the Reds have finally found a shortstop. Zach Cozart, a former Dragon who played two seasons in Dayton, made the all-rookie team last year and was a Gold Glove finalist in just his first full season in the big leagues. Cozart joins Brandon Phillips and fellow Dragon alums Todd Frazier and Joey Votto, giving the Reds their most set infield in years. I think what it does is it makes the team more relaxed. You, you don't have, you know, guys fighting for, for major positions to where you're like, oh, we well, don't know who's going to start at short. You don't know who's going to start here. And I think in the past it's been that way, you know, especially at shortstop. So uh, I think you can see as a team, uh, we played so well last year and we're confident because, uh, like you said, we have pretty much everybody back, um, pitching staff and, and uh, position player-wise. So um, we're pretty excited. Are you one of those guys who puts pressure on yourself or are you – you know, as you head into the season, how do you do you put numbers out there, goals? How do you approach the season personally? Well, you, you, every player, uh, you know, has their personal goals. Uh, you sit down and, and you think of what you want to do, and and as a team, what you want to do too. But uh, yeah, I, you know, I think everybody does, and I put pressure on myself. But I think that's a that's why we're you know such good athletes is because we thrive under pressure. So um, the pressure is good for me at least. I, I I like having a little pressure on me. While Frazier was second in the National League in terms of defensive percentage, he struggled a bit at the plate, batting just under 250. That's one area he told me today that he was hoping to improve on greatly. With the Reds in Goodyear, Arizona, reporting live, I'm Jack Pohl, 2 Sports.